Good morning, everybody. It's me, Jackson Tyler Powell, back with another recording for RMP Gaming. Today, we're going to be playing a little bit of the Hunter Classic, which I have not played on this channel before. Wait, hold up, guys. Before I got moving on the side of that hill. But I've played this game ever since I was really young, and I absolutely love it. I've played it since I was like eight or nine. It's one of the most realistic hunting games I've ever played. It's, it's more realistic than Cabell's, which isn't a big feat, but. With, with Cabell's most recent hunting game, um, Pro Hunts, it'd be kind of hard to beat, but it's, it's been realistic since, like, 2011, I believe, and I've played it since I was, like, 8 or 9, so I played it back in, like, 2013, and, um, my bud back there, right, Ryver Clark, is gonna be recording with me, his name in game is Simmons198, 191, and today we're gonna be hunting some any, just about anything. We're going to be hunting Sitka deer, mule deer, not, mule deer, Sitka deer, doll sheep, moose, any big game that I have not gotten a big trophy for yet in my trophy room. I've got a nice trophy room, but I'm yet to get a doll sheep, a big, big moose, or a decent sized Sitka deer. So we're going to be keeping our eye out today for these creatures, and maybe a decent sized bison if I find one. Because it's hard to find a decent bison on here. Most of the time they're small. But I've got a lot of friends I'm going to be playing this with. Hold on, I see, the, I see the animal up there. Apparently, I can't see it from right here. Our injury distance isn't far enough. But I believe what I'm seeing up there is a Sitka deer. Or it might even be a tree. Who knows? I've got the outside of a daggum moose. Dang it, I'm pretty sure it's just a daggum tree. So, doll sheep live up in the mountains on this map, White Rime Ridge. I've got my winter camo and everything on. I've got my 7mm magnum, my 8x57 IS nozzle partioned. Bolt action rifle and my 308 and also Parson um, 308 single action handgun. I mean, single shot break action handgun. Look. Sick of deer. Let's see if I can call him in. Oh, I see him up there. I think that's him at least. Nope, just another tree. He's up there on that mountainside right there. I'm gonna keep moving. Try to get on top of that ridge line there. See if I can't get a good line of sight on him. See how big he is. If he's small, I'll I won't take the shot. If he's a decent sized buck, I might take the shot. Who knows? As long as I know there's no moose around. If I know there's a moose around, I'm not gonna take the shot. This is what I love about this game, the rush of the hunt. This is the, this is, my, the adrenaline is pumping through my chest right now. This might be a, like a not, a massive, like, record-breaking sit to do. And also might be a small spike. But, that's, that's the thing about this game that I love so much. You, you win sometimes, you don't lose sometimes. This time I'm hoping it's a win, and not a lose. Come on, buddy. Pop your head over that hill so I can get a good look at you. Is that him right there? It can be. No way. No, it's not. I thought I'd done spotted me a albino sitka deer.
This soundtrack is from Cabell's Big Game Hunter Pro Hunts. Let's see here if we can't get us a good line of sight on a buck. Where is he at? I got a call from him just over there. Let's see if I get up on this ridge and I, if I can't see him, I'm going to head down to the three, to the um, glacier lake down there. There's a place that's got three, it's got three small lakes, two small lakes actually, and it's um, hot springs. If I get up on this ridge and I can't see that buck, then we're going to head down to that little hot spring. Maybe we'll be able to get, catch a good glimpse of him there. This game is super fun. If you guys ever want to play it with me, just hook me up. Just, just call me or let me know on Steam. My Steam name is Jackson Tyler Powell. And um, my Discord is Jackson Powell 1212. Wait, no, it's Jackson Powell. I can't remember. But on here, on Steam, on the Hunter, my username is Gglobe. Funny how I got that name is I was looking around trying to find something I could use for a username. And I looked over and I saw my Globe pencil sharpener. So I said, that's it. Gglobe, that's perfect. Let's see if we can't get a good look at this Sitka buck. You get up here. Just run up here. Let's see if we can't get a good look at him. <laughs> oh, there he is, right there. Wow, he's tiny. Dang. I was hoping maybe he'd get a bigger buck than that, but he's just a little tiny spike. Still, he's a deer. This is better than our last episode on Call of the Wild. We didn't upload that video because, I mean, we didn't see a single animal. All we, seen, all we seen was a little tiny grizzly bear. Let me see if I can't spot that Sitka again. again. Show you guys what they look like. That's a Sitka deer right there. Sitka blacktail. Native to Alaska. And close up near the Arctic. And Canada. They're extremely skittish animals. They catch wind of something they don't like. Just barely. Like something's wrong in their environment. Just a tad bit wrong. They'll instantly bolt. They are very skittish animals. They're not the kind of deer that you see people walking up next to. These animals are skittish. And if, I don't know if you guys can't see it. You can see it right there. But we've got a cow moose. It's a young, it's, I'd say it's... A, I have no clue how heavy she is. Wait, we've got another animal down there. It's another cow moose. Dang, where's the bull at? Two cows, but no bull. He's around here somewhere. Is that him over there? Yep. That's him. He's not big, but he's a moose bull. He, he appears to be 80 to 160. Whoa, there's a big one in the background. I didn't even see him yet. I didn't, I would never have spotted him if I, if I wouldn't have looked. That one's massive. He's a nice sized bull. He's very nice. This is why I love this spot. This time you can get some nice sized animals. Uh, let's see if I can't spot that moose bull again. He's in, in that brush there behind that smaller bull. Wow, he's big. Smoked him. That's a nice bull moose I just downed right there. 
perfect shot. I'd say double lung heart, maybe double lung. I'm not sure, but it's a good shot. As you can tell, I played this game so long, I know my rifle inside out. I can take a shot, moose 100 yards iron sights, drop them. Plus, I'm a hunter in real life. I haven't bagged anything big. I've killed squirrels, birds. I'm more of a small game hunter. Until I get my, my, my hunting license, 223, maybe a 30-30, then I'll be hunting some big game, like white-tailed deer, black bear, stuff like that. Until then, I'm going to be hunting small game. Maybe a little bit of medium game, like coyote every now and then, but this is a nice moose bull. Until I can hunt big game or, or coyotes, you'll see me be playing. You'll be you'll be seeing me playing this a lot. This is really realistic. That's a perfect shot. I don't think I, my buddy could have pulled that off any better. I was just checking to see if my buddy, her um. I think I'd fix yet. <laughs> oh, right lung heart. I was really dang close with that estimate. 150 score moose. Not bad at all. I'm gonna take this trophy shot to commemorate the kill. He's not big enough to go on trophy lodge, but he'll make a pretty penny. Somebody will love that mate. Now we're heading up to the mountains to track a couple doll sheep. Maybe get a nice sized ram. Oh, is that a moose bull? Or is that a buffalo? Looks like a small moose bull. Yeah, he's tiny. Wow. He's real small. He must be that bull I seen with that large one a while ago. All sheep always live all the way up in there somewhere. Wait, is he that bull? No, there's that other bull. This is a smaller one, I'm guessing. Yeah, he's tiny. He's not a big bull at all. Only time I see a moose bull bigger than the ones I see here is a while back was when I was um playing with a bud. We seen a like a 500 score bull moose, massive creature. He said he'd shoot in the leg to slow it down. Turns out the shot went from a leg shot to a heart shot in like a couple milliseconds. I have no clue how that happened. I was mad. And talk. Oop, did you hear that? That was a moose bull. I'm guessing that little one over there. Yeah. Well, let's get moving across the little snow land bridge right here. Hold on. Oh, I see a bison over there. Man, he's tiny. She's tiny, I believe. Yeah. No, it's a male. He's tiny. He's a little thing. He may look big to y'all, but the ones I've seen in the truck rooms are... Jesus Christ, they're massive. Should've brought my bow. Well, looks like it's just gonna be me and you guys. My bud just had to leave. Didn't even get to shoot an animal.
I don't know if you guys can see, but we got a little cow over there. In a little bit, I sh might show you guys the um, body language of animals on here. It was a, um, with whitetail, when they're spooked, they'll stamp the ground with one of their hooves and lift that, that, that snow white tail up because they're spooked. They got wind of something they don't like. Hey, look at smaller moose boy. Let's see how big he is. Oh, he's tiny, 65 to 140. I've seen jackrabbits bigger than that. <laughs> Oh yeah, he's not bad. That's a big one. Holy cow. That's one that one's going in my trophy room. No doubt about it. That one's massive. He's about he, we're about to get the shot of the lifetime. That was a long shot, no doubt about it. He shouldn't go too far. He, he's got massive palmates. Holy cow. Holy cow, that may be the biggest moose bull I've seen all day. Holy sweet lord of mighty. This went from a moose hunt to, this went from a doll sheep hunt to a, like, tracking a massive bull moose. Holy cow. I, I, I'll tell you guys what, I've never seen a moose bull that big in my life. That's, that's, I guess that's just recording luck, I guess. Wow. In all my years of playing this game, I've never seen a moose bull that big. Not, except for that one time that, when my buddy shot that 500 score. Sweet Jesus. I regret getting rid of my dog. I'm get up, gotta get up there and track him. Sweet Jesus. That's why I love this game. One minute you can be sad not seeing an animal, then the next second you can have a massive animal come into range. I saw that smaller one, I didn't see the big one at first. I looked forward in front of that guy a little bit. I see a massive little moose. Is he down? Please tell me that's him right there. It's him all right. There he goes. Nothing. I've got to get to a position where I can get a better line of sight on that bull. Because he's obviously not down yet, but he will be soon. I'm about to smoke this son of a gun. He's injured. I gotta take him down quick because I don't like it watching animals suffer. There's perfect position for a shot. There's his antlers right there, and he's still booking it out of there. Nope, he's down. He's definitely down after that shot. Okay, oh, that was like a once in a lifetime sh opportunity right there. We had already bagged a moose bull today. That was a freaking target of opportunity. Jesus Christ, I wasn't expecting that. I just look up on the hillside and see a massive bull moose. I'm like, holy cow.
Now he's got to figure out where he went down at. Don't you tell me he got away again. There's no way. Nuh-uh. Oh, no, there he is. But I had a panic attack. Holy cow. Whoa. This man is definitely going in my trophy room. Yeah, that first shot was a body. The second one was a... He's not much bigger than that bull I just shot, but his palm mates are massive, so he's definitely going in my trophy room. Taxidermy him, definitely. Jesus. Wow. Now, I was not expecting that today. Looks like I'm going to leave this episode off here. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. I'm going to pick this episode off up here. Pick this episode back up up here in a couple minutes when I get to an area where doll sheep are. Well, see you guys later. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe.